Again, this video is particularly for my Tamil speaking friends so in this video I'm going to share with you a simple method I call this method the TPAP method to help little children learn all the 247 letters in Tamil easily and quickly so there are many ways to learn Tamil letters but the most popular method out there is through repetition we've learned through repetition remember ah ah e e and I'm sure we would have repeated it a hundred times before we memorized it and most schools till date use repetition as the primary method of learning although there's nothing wrong with repetition I feel it is a long boring process and learning should not be boring at all it should be fun and easy so if there is a simple way to trick a brain into learning these letters faster and easier while having fun it is to train in repetition for association we'll be talking more about association and an important learning technique called mnemonics in our step number three but for now let's begin with our step number one which is add a tune so our T in TPAP stands for tune. If you have been following us for a while, you would have known by now that we love to sing. Whatever our three-year-old son learned so far, the names of all the countries of the world or elements in the periodic table or even skip counting is through songs. So we begin with singing and then we slowly work away into learning concepts and facts. I've noticed that once the terminology or the letter is familiar, then learning more about it is simple. So Tamil letters were no different. We simply added a tune and sang. So I feel singing, apart from being fun, really uses up those memory muscles and makes it possible for the child to learn or at least get familiar with all the 247 letters in Tamil orally before moving on to print. So our step number two is play games. We all know that children love to play and they'll learn while playing. So once the child is kind of familiar with the letters orally, it is time to introduce the first set of letters. Weirilthikal and Meyilthikal. The reason why we usually start with these letters is because once the child learns these 30 letters, introducing the rest of the letters, the weird Meyilthikal, which are just a combination of these two types of letters, is easy if you use association but now how do you introduce these letters to your child by simply playing games <laughs> so our step number three which is an important step is association not just any association but silly association the sillier the better because if you follow the traditional method, which is learning through repetition, I guarantee it will take a good couple of years for the child to learn the rest of the letters, let alone start reading. So to learn the weird mathematical and easy alternative is to use associations. So what do I mean by associations? Associations are nothing but helping the child make connections with something that the child does not know, with something that the child already knows. So for association, I came up with these mnemonic cards. As you can see, our mnemonic cards are really, really silly. Would an egg hang from a ponytail? Would that ever happen in reality? Absolutely not. But what if it happens? Would you ever forget it? I'm sure you'll go around telling people about this magical egg that was hanging from your ponytail or from your friend's ponytail and you'll never ever forget. That is called an awesome memory. But how did it even happen? It is because whatever happened is out of the ordinary and it's kind of silly, right? So that is what we wanted to do with our children, especially when they are learning. Make the cues silly and out of the ordinary and they'll never ever forget. So when he sees a letter like this, he knows that there is an egg hanging at the end of a ponytail. That's his cue. And so he knows that he needs to add E to the base letter. By the way, if you're new to mnemonics, mnemonics is a learning technique that uses auditory and visual cues 
to help the human brain retain information as well as retrieve information easily and quickly since every child is different what works for one might not work for the other so you know your child best so you come up with your own imani cards or just telling a silly story would do but make sure that your stories are super super silly so the final p in tpap stands for practice so read tamil story books to your child often and encourage your child to at least decode a word or two as you read no Because the more opportunity your child gets to practice reading, the better your child will start reading. By the way, do not forget to use your finger to trace the text while reading so your child gets to see the word and the letters that make up the word in print. That's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then let me know in the comments below and also share this video with your friends. If you want the, the Tamil flashcards to play with your child, then shoot me an email. My email ID is grace at wearlearnandgrow.com. So that's it for now. If you're new here, we welcome you to join our family. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this on Facebook, like a page and be a part of our private Facebook group. I will see you all in my next video. Till then, take care and bye for now. Okay. Ka <laughs> na.